For the past three years, Gordon Ramsay has been trying to rescue some of the worst restaurants in Britain. This is disgusting. God, it looks like something out of a porn movie. That's not cooked, that's raw. <coughs> if you don't break away from this stove, I swear to God the business is going to close. I don't think you can actually cook. Uh -huh. Now he's traveling to the USA to turn around America's kitchen nightmares. Please help me! Each week, he will go to restaurants on the brink of disaster. There is no more money. He's not doing his job. This place is a disaster zone. I put so much into it. And to get these restaurants back on track, Gordon will hold nothing back. I've never, ever, ever, ever met someone I believe in as little as you. It's intense. Touch the wall, you dirty pig. What do we need, a death in the restaurant before some fucker gets a grip? I thought your food was crap. I'd rather have this conversation okay. downstairs. It's emotional. You are fucking... That's it! Okay. Seriously, I'm pissed yeah. off. It's not my fault. Why did you keep eating if it was yeah. that bad? Just go! Just go! And it's shocking. Fire them on the spot. Oh, my God. Look at them. I've eaten it! I feel like spitting on both of them. I think this place will run better without you. Can you go and tell them that the kitchen is closed? We're shut! It's the luckiest day of their lives! We're shut for the night! We're shut for the night! We will make this a success. Put your hand up and swear to God. In the end, Gordon will bring about dramatic turnarounds. Oh, horrible. <laughs> Not just of the restaurants. Oh. But of the people who work in them. But while most appreciate Gordon's help, bless you. You are a wonderful person. Others aren't quite so grateful. Oh, fucking kitchen. Jeff, I know you can hear me. Don't run. Why is this guy here? Who the fuck are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Goodbye, chef. Good luck, loser. Get ready as Gordon Ramsay attempts to turn America's kitchen nightmares... I thought we were about to receive. May the Lord not kill me with food poisoning. ...back into dreams. Please do not screw it up. Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares USA, Gordon heads to an old Italian eatery. Well, this one's going to be interesting, isn't it? To find a family and a restaurant in crisis. You can become famous in the next 24 hours for fucking poisoning half of Babylon. Tina, the owner, is a wreck. I want to cry or commit bloody murder. And her brother doesn't seem to care. Instead of buying a stove, I bought a suit, you know? He's a 250-pound spoiled baby. He's a lunatic. You ain't got me scared. All right, you ain't good, got me good. scared. With just a week to turn it around, Gordon must pull this family together. Holy mackerel. They don't listen. But it will be an immense challenge. You have to stay out of it. The chef's worn down. When the fucking dishes are ready, that's when they're going to come out. And the kitchen's worn out. I cannot believe you work in that shithole. This is my one work in oven. That's it. The manager's a tyrant. Hey, so what do you mean I'm getting hot-headed? Give me this fucking mallet. What are you trying to the fucking door? And the staff are ready to throw in the towel. No, no, no. Can Gordon unite this dysfunctional family restaurant? I'm going to kill myself. This is ridiculous. Should I come back next week for the bake land? And get their house back in order. You fucking blowjob! That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares USA. Babylon, New York, is a quaint village on the southern shore of Long Island. It's home to a number of Italian restaurants. But there's one family establishment that needs Gordon Ramsay's help more than any other. Hi, how are you? I'm the owner of this restaurant, Peter's. There's a lot of stress. This place is a fucking mess. I'm all over the place. It's pretty open right now. What would you like? No one thinks I'm the owner in here. They all think it's my brother, because he's the host. Come on, Peter, help. Yeah. What the fuck? <sighs> there are a lot of restaurant owners that are married to their business day and night, but I choose not to live my life that way. I'm the only son, that's me. I don't really know who Peter thinks he is. Honestly, I think he's hoping for a shot at the next Goodfellas movie. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. That was a great movie, right? Yeah, that was awesome. We're a close family. We're a close family. It's a family business. You understand? Come on, you fucker. Come on. 
I believe Peter is a core problem of the restaurant. Who the fuck yeah. is he? You know, I'm passionate. I'm Italian. I yell. Gentlemen, why is this guy here? Two minutes later, I'm over it. Come on, let me hug it out. Will you? Let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. He takes advantage of the place. Can I have a cappuccino from here, please? I take so much pride in myself, my appearance, my car, my clothes. Well, I got sauce on my suit. I take care of myself, and it shows. You can put your hands on me. I promise I won't bring you up on charges. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's not so concerned with the customer. He's more concerned with them noticing him. Instead of buying a stove, I bought a suit, you know? <laughs> The tools that we have in the kitchen right now need to be sharpened. There are three ovens down. The oven on the bottom is completely out. We have a broiler that's not working. When I got dressed tonight, I felt like I should have been in Florida. You know what I mean? The whole family's throwing everything on Tina's shoulders, and I don't think she can handle it. OK, I don't give a shit if it broke, but I have to have a nervous breakdown over a goddamn candle holder. This restaurant was one of the top restaurants in the village here. And uh, it's just really slowly declined. The restaurant is not making the money that it was making. Right now, we're not paying the bills. Do me a favor, go take a walk. How's that? Go take a fucking walk. We're getting phone calls. The guy has not don't... stopped calling, and, then, and my father's making the situation call. worse. I feel that my business is at a pivotal point. It keeps me up at night that I know there are problems here. You made a big mistake, John. Yeah, I did, huh? yeah. yeah. Before I lose my life, I would sell the place, and I don't want to do that. That's not in my heart. I'm here in Babylon, in New York, to meet Peter from Peter's Restaurant. It's a family, small, quaint restaurant, and it's on its ass, struggling big time. And he said he was going to pick me up. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. This can't be him. What the fuck is this? Peter? How you doing, Gordon? Good to see you. Nice car. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. How are you? you? Welcome to Babylon. Yeah. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? Good, great, yeah. man. You Good look well. You. Thank you. So do you. From the minute we met, it was like Superman arrived. You know, so I'm very excited. Come on in. I feel like I'm in Hollywood. Um, what a quaint little uh, town. So here it is. Welcome. Peters, thank you. After you. I want to introduce you to my family. Mom, Dad, this is Gordon Ramsay, and this is Tina. Hi, Tina. Nice to meet you. When I first met him, like, you know, I didn't know how to take him, but with this hair like that, I figured he's one of these crazy foreigners. It's your restaurant, Peter's. It's my name. It's yeah, name. it's mine. How nice, all the family working together. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Mom, Dad, big brother, little sister. When Gordon got here, I was so looking forward to meeting him. I mean, he's a smart guy. He's a good-looking guy. He's charismatic. So who's the chef? chef Robert. Robert. Robert Gordon oh, yeah. Ramsay. Oh, yeah. This, pleasure. Is, Robert. Pleasure. this is Robert O'Sara. And you're the head chef. I'm the head chef. Excellent. These are my two best Jerry? friends, Jerry and Jerry. Jerry and Jerry. How you doing? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, you know what it is? If they don't like the food, they go over. Jerry, Jerry and Jerry beat the shit out of them. I feel honored. I've been introduced to the mob. Well, this one's going to be interesting, isn't it? Fuck me. We decided? Yeah, I um, might start with the crab cake, please. Crab cakes? Thank you. OK. And then one of my favorites, lobster ravioli. Very good. Lovely. Thank you, my man. You're I'm sorry, your first name was? Angelo. Angelo. Gentlemen, I got uh, Ramsey's order, please. OK, here's the crab cakes. Lovely, thank you. OK, this is a spicy Dijon sauce. Mm -hmm. The crab cakes are homemade? They are homemade, yes. Thank you. Enjoy. Looks terrible, the salad. This salad fresh. There's all like little bits in there, like rotten. Huh? How old is that salad? Take it back before something jumps out of there. I'll just taste the crab cake. Okay. And... I mean, it's, it's rotten, then, no? Yes. Damn. This is ridiculous, man. Look at the. How old is this salad? You make me look like a moron. Um, Angelo. Yes. I don't want to put you in an awkward position, but. That's stone cold in the middle, and that's not fresh crab meat. They're gross. OK. I'll let them know. Yeah. When you come into an Italian restaurant, you want to identify that the food is fresh instantly. Crab cake, cold. Not a good start. 
He might knock the ravioli, but that's... He's gonna knock the ravioli. What is he gonna knock about the ravioli? Say good, no? Yeah, from Restaurant Depot. What do you think? Yeah. Thank you. Well, I don't need any parsley. That's not even lobster. That's just, like, baby food inside gunk. Who, who garnished that dish? What? Who garnished that dish? You gotta be kidding me. You put half a pound of parsley on my plate. He said, wow, enough parsley on this dish? First of all, I put the parsley on it. That's my job, and I'll decide what goes on it. It ain't your problem. Yeah, but I don't need to hear criticism, which I already know then the dish has too much. John did it. Go yell it in. What's going on? It's craziness. It's chaos. At times, I can shoot every person in here. It's Gentlemen. over. Gentlemen. It's over. Gentlemen. It's over. What's going on? John, the sous chef, is insulted over the parsley. I'm gonna go defuse a fight in this kitchen right now. Excuse me. That's how I like to do it. So I did it my way. Do you understand what I'm saying, Angelo? All the fucking time. Holy smoke. Welcome to Babylon. Now that Gordon has tried the food, it's time for a heart to heart with a Pellegrino family. I'd like to be told the truth, nothing but the truth. And the quicker I get to the truth, the quicker I can help. So, manager. The way I look at things is everyone he needs in, to have a job come to in, do. comes in, doesn't come in, comes in, tells everyone My else to do what he's supposed to be doing, including to me. I try to clean up. He wants coffee. He wants a water. They don't water. listen. Always here. They really don't. Everybody. Everybody. He knows that this so might be the every out of it. You, you don't know about her, the day-to-day -day business, and we appreciate it, Mom, but you're here, you know, but you really shouldn't give input of anything. He comes here and creates more problems. I'm sorry for being so personal, but I held in my... I had to go to the airport. I'm trying. This is my point. This is why Coming up. Always fascinating what you find at the back of a fridge. Gordon's shocking kitchen investigation. It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. Leads to a confrontation with the family. You can become famous in the next 24 hours for fucking poisoning half of Babylon. Will Gordon and Peter ever see eye to eye? You. This place will run better without you. Or will Peter continue to wreak havoc on his restaurant? You fucking blowjob! It's day two in Babylon, and Gordon has already discovered that the speciality of this restaurant is arguing. Now it's time to investigate the state of the kitchen. What's in this one? Bloody hell. What is in there? Fucking hell. Bread rolls. Bread rocks. Temperature of the fridge is not even cold, so it stuff's rotten. Mold. Moldy, decay, rotten onions. Yeah, they look like fucking camel's turd. It looks like something out of a fucking sci-fi movie. Oh, my God. Did you eat that? It's like the fridge has dripped all over it. The whole thing's leaking here. Last year's rainwater inside. The whole thing looks like it's about to fall down. Hey, yeah. mate. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm very sorry, mate. Something happened. I had to pick something up. What happened? I had to pick up something that came uh, indirectly to, you know, inadvertently to the wrong place. This was like an act of God this morning. Act I would have really Okay, been, let me been. show you uh, something that I hope will open your fucking eyes. Um, Tina, Angela as well, yeah? Have a look at this. When was the last time you went inside a walk-in fridge? To walk-in fridge? Yeah. Uh, I had a hot flash last week, I think. A hot flash? What does yeah. that mean? I mean, I was, like, hot and I walked in here for a second. What the fuck? Look, there's onions growing on top of onions. But it gets worse, unfortunately. The whole thing's leaking here. What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't know. You have to ask the chef. You can become famous in the next 24 hours for fucking poisoning half of Babylon. You ought to be fucking ashamed. That is sour and has to be four weeks old. Just, just, just smell that for me. No, no, just, just, just smell it. Gordon, I just it got up. Yeah, OK. Just, just smell it, though, Tina. Oh, that's a nice tray. Would we really serve that? No. But does it just fall under the chef's job? Well, where are the fuckers? This is your fridge yeah, in the middle you, of your you really... fucking business. Can we get out of here before yeah. I catch something? Yeah. I feel terrible. It's like, you know, telling, somebody telling you your kid is ugly. 
This is ridiculous here. Hey, hold on a minute. Oh, hey. The walking box is a mess. But you know what? That walking box is exactly how we felt about working in the kitchen. It's like blame everything on me. If blame we're buying the big it. fires in Chicago, Hurricane Katrina, 9-11, what the fuck? I mean, I've never seen something like this. Stop just, acting like a fucking baby. I'm not acting like a baby. Yes, just throw are. everything on me because but it's like, you know what? Here. I take it, number one, me. I want me. the place clean. OK, so clean End it. End the fucking story. Clean it, guys. Please clean the place. You're embarrassing me. I've never seen something like this. This is unbelievable. Before Gordon does anything else, he wants to make sure the kitchen is spotless. How we doing, ladies? I believe Peter is a core problem of the restaurant's dysfunction, and he isn't concerned much about anybody else but himself. The kitchen is now cleaner than it's been in years, so Gordon can turn his attention to observing tonight's dinner service. And reservations, what have we got booked? We're really, uh, what do we have? Some, uh, There's nothing in there. Business is, is, is rough, it's hurting. I may have to sell my watch. I've got $20. So it is fake. Fake. The only thing that's fake is my teeth. They're fucking white. They're white, they're bleached. How much does that cost? A thousand a visit. I just brush mine twice a day. Fuck it now. But it goes well with a brown tan. Well, you know, you somewhat. Yeah. I'd rather buy a new fucking stove. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. It's been such a long time since I have good equipment here. It's bothering me, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's not my restaurant. What doesn't work? All these stove tops here don't work. The broiler doesn't work proper. This, this oven does not work. We use it as storage. We keep our towels and stuff in here. <laughs> When was the last time a new piece of equipment was bought in this kitchen? Yeah, they never put a nickel into this place. Peter is a lot more proud of his car than he is his fucking restaurant. Absolutely. That kitchen is the heart of the restaurant. When that's hurt, it's like a clogged artery. You're going to have a big problem. With so much of the kitchen equipment not working, it's almost impossible for the chefs to do their jobs. And their frustration has been felt by the rest of the staff. Okay, Where's my uh, Portofino? They're coming, but don't keep asking for them. Don't ask for them one more fucking time. When there's a chaotic night here, I have Robert screaming. When the dishes are ready, that's when they're going to come out. He's an excellent chef, but he's crazy. Take them, take this out. <laughs> fucking got to keep asking for the fucking food. Can you see if my friend, the doctor, wants another bottle of wine on, uh... Sure. Yeah. Can you folks another bottle of wine on Peter? Are you all right? Who's got C5? Me. Hi. Uh, buy them uh, uh, an after dinner drink on them. Is the doctor comp tonight? Is he the doc? The doctor's comp. Do you take every personally, or do you put it on the business? It goes off the top. It's an expense. How can I not? I mean, the guy, you know, the guy takes care of me. It's only business. I think they said that in The Godfather. I can oh. charge my doctor. Trust me, he earns enough. Yeah. It's like a little meeting place here. Yeah, a little meeting huh? place. Well, yeah. Shame no one's spending money. The combination of Peter spending a great deal of money on himself and giving away free meals has put the family business in jeopardy. And brought a debt collector to the door. The guy you... What? Oh, I... Yeah, he'd like... Hey, no, not right now, I don't, buddy. No, no, not right now, I don't. Oh, well, as soon as you got a minute. Yeah, OK. As soon as you got a minute, oh, telephone, buddy. tough guy. Go oh, fuck yourself. Get, Get the fuck out of yeah. here. Pick your fucking hands Touch up, me, John. Tough guy. Pick your fucking Touch hands me. up. You wanna hit me? You're the tough guy. You wanna hit me? Nah. Put your hands on me, nah, Pete. No. I'll let you do it first. Listen, Listen to, me, to me, tough guy. No, you're Listen the tough to me. guy. Our friendship is fucking you over. You ain't my friend, you're a scumbag. You're a That's why scumbag, yeah. you always have a scumbag. You, you fucking me, talk you to me like that again, you get hurt. You'll John, get fucking I'll, hurt. You ain't got me scared. You ain't got me scared, Bo. This was a joke. Don't fucking walk up on me. Tina, don't fucking hurt you, you little John, get the fuck out of here. Maybe you don't understand what I'm saying. No. I and spoke to did. other people, too, that he's in debt with, that called me up and said, if there's anything I could this. do, what? I just wanted oh, no. to talk to him. Now wasn't the time. After Peter's brush with an overzealous debt collector, Gordon checks in with his sister, restaurant owner Tina. I know I've just arrived, but <sighs> fuck me. How do you manage? Oh, I'm motivated by all the nice people that come in to visit me. Uh -huh. 
But other than that, I'm having a breakdown. Tell me your biggest frustration. What's the one big issue that you have? From the kitchen to my brother, just it seems like I, it's like a free for all. Like everyone's just doing what they want. I get so exasperated sometimes, so stressed out that I want to cry or commit bloody murder. But does Peter play a part in the financial side? He'll take his paycheck but not come in. I come in and I'll, they'll tell me, oh, Peter took two hundred dollars. Shit. It's like. I didn't even fucking break even for the day, and he took money. You can't do that. How long can you continue functioning like this with not the same? Not much longer, and I can't. I can't do it either. I would sooner sell the business. I'm not a martyr. I feel like I'm doing it on my own, and that's the part about it I resent. It's not fair. If this doesn't work, you know what's at stake in terms of you know how much will you lose? My house. Your house. This is crazy because the true definition of a family business is every member of that family working within mm -hmm. to make it successful. Mm -hmm. Not one person carrying the burden. I know. It's day three, and time for Gordon to give the family a much needed wake up call. This business was set up 17 years ago as a family business, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Today, we're going to renew that commitment. We're going to make it more family than ever before. This is what we're going to do. You, yeah, with your father, are going to go and run the kitchen. You're going to cook. <laughs> yeah, you're going to run the kitchen. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, my God. Tina. Oy vey. I want you to go and work in that kitchen and just experience what it's like behind that line and work with your dad. You like food. You certainly eat enough of it here. <laughs> Tina, you're going to run the dining room with your mum, OK? Get in the kitchen and get familiar with what's going on. Peter, I've never seen cook. Well, I've never seen him boil an egg. Look at me. I'm, I'm looking shaking. at you. Find it. I'm yeah. fucking shaking. I'm, you're not right shaking here. enough. Let's go. Come on, huh? Peter's like one of those guys. He eats out a lot, so he assumes he knows about cooking in restaurants. He has no clue about the kitchen. Hello. Hello. Welcome. While Peter and his father are settling into the kitchen, why is this burner don't go lower? Welcome to my world. Gordon is packing the dining room with hungry customers. First order's coming in. Stand by. Can I start with you? Yeah, sure. What would you like? Salmon a la grill. Ma, do me a favor. Make me an espresso, please. Go <laughs> make it yourself. I just want my mother to get me espresso and I'm ready. Just... Espresso? Bloody hell. Is he always like this? Yeah. Huh? Is he? My god. If my dad and my brother were the chefs, I think there'd be a mass murder in here. I have an order. All the, the, aboard. The first order's in. I need black olives and artichokes. Right underneath here. Could yeah. someone set the us up? Oh, hold on. Now it's them that didn't set you up properly. No, like that. I'm having a meltdown here. Are we ready to order? Do you need a few minutes? Can I have a fucking working oven? Those are the ones I ordered already. That clams and the soup. What the fuck is that? This is a, a clusterfuck yeah. back here. Angela, table of seven, please, my darling. The table of ten coming in the door. Where are the clams? Where's the salmon? Where's my lemon? Yeah, We're we shouting for lemons, and look, there's a fucking box of lemons here. I need, I need clean spoons. I need clean spoons. I need chicken. I need chicken. What's that in front of your eyes? Oh, yeah. OK. Peter is, he's a 250-pound spoiled baby. Holy fuck. They two didn't get the instruction tell you they're clams. Uh, tell them I'll buy them dessert. They don't need advertisers. No, no, you have to get them out. What do you want me to do? I can do what I can do at the moment. moment. OK, that's put the cat amongst the pigeons. Peter is now getting a taste of his own medicine. He's now seen how difficult it is to cook in that kitchen with nothing that works. So this is embarrassing, because this should have been a family, close-knit, tight-run restaurant. It's an hour into lunch service, and there's still no food coming out of the kitchen. It's done. It's What's so burning in here? We just burnt the chicken. Where the fucking it's weed? We just couldn't handle it. I don't know. I'm looking for a corner to hide somewhere. Can someone get me Tina, please? I need orange juice. You want Tina to stop now and get you a glass of orange no, juice? No, do I have anybody that can hey, help me? Can look you get at me, me orange juice? Please? Fuck yourself. What? I beg your pardon? Ooh. Take it easy. Take it easy, killer. I want to see what big boy's made of. Come on. Let's go, yeah? Yeah. Let's go, big boy. Relax. Finally, someone told him, listen, buddy, don't act like you're, you're the king over here because you got nothing. You, get the fuck out of here. Out. Robert, back on here, please. Yeah, let's Thank go. Thank God. Unbelievable. 
Now Gordon has proved his point about the inadequate kitchen, he realizes that he has to do something drastic to get the restaurant ready to be relaunched. Gordon did, you know, attack Peter in the right way because he saw him as being, you know, a big shot, a guy trying to act like a big shot. Would you do me a favor? Uh, yeah. Will you go out? Go and get some fresh air or, yeah. Go get a fucking manicure. Polish your wheels or do something. It's day four, and although Peter's attitude to work has been a disappointment, Gordon has no choice but to introduce the first phase of his transformation plan. Right, today is a new beginning, a new chapter for Peter's restaurant, yes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing that really needs to take place here is a commitment. We're going to implement changes. Follow me, please. Yeah, through to the kitchen. Welcome to your new kitchen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, man. Holy <laughs> bro. Have a look, have a look, have a look. Gordon brought in a team of kitchen specialists who worked all night to give this restaurant something it sorely needed, a proper kitchen. Every oven is working. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. my God. I need I need it. It. <laughs> Plates, stoves, ovens, mats. I can't believe it. A new double fridge as well. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Oh. Yes, proper working fridge, yes. Uh, what a kitchen. I think we were all starting to lose steam here and give up, and, and he, he brought us back to uh, a sunny day. Your new kingdom. This is really a good thing. Now I can really have a real kitchen where I can actually do things the right way. I've invested in this. Now I want to see you. With opportunity comes responsibility. And I think that's what Gordon was trying to point out. You know what? I've given you what you asked for. Now you're responsible for it, to use it respectfully. It's time for the chefs and Gordon to put the new kitchen to good use as Gordon starts to change the menu. There we go. I want to focus on family-style dining. We're going to be making simple, stunning, classic Italian foods. OK, lasagna. I'm very excited tonight to cook with Gordon. Definitely an honor to cook with someone like him. I fell into a bit of a rut culinarily. And now that Gordon's given me this new menu to work with, it's a revitalizing kind of feeling, you know? Let's go. Gordon introduces a new family-style menu that will make Peter's restaurant stand out from the competition. There's, what, six, seven Italian restaurants out there in Babylon. One thing that can separate this restaurant from the others is running this like a true family restaurant. Gordon came about the idea of family style, which I think is an exceptional idea. We needed something to help us stand out. For tonight's dinner service, the parsley covered ravioli and the cold crab cakes have been replaced by fresh, homemade family style dishes, such as lobster ravioli, the penne lasagna, grilled flank steak, capellini and rocchetta, and then porchetta, which is beautiful. You know, these are dishes that are popular. This is now a time for you to sort of really seriously start getting that message out there. It's so simple. OK, guys, have we got a, a, a big, 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 big launch? Big yeah. Balloon. Yeah, big time. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. With a brand new kitchen, a redesigned menu, and a new approach that reaches out to families, the restaurant is ready for its big relaunch. Let's I mean, do it. With the doors about to open, Gordon gathers the staff for a last-minute pep talk. OK. Tonight is a critical, crucial night. Are you with us, or are you...? Yeah, I'm just waiting for... for OK. But we're right, really busy right now. Once again, Peter has a debt collector on his doorstep. Well, you are interfering. That's what I'm saying. Get out of the way. Hey, would you I mind...? I'm not interfering. You've got to wait two minutes. i got to talk. Get out of the way. What? Why don't you go in the way so we can go on? Don't get out of the way. Oh, wait a minute. I'm talking to the... Why don't you go... No, get out of the way. I want to talk to you. I'm saying go the way. What are you getting like? Relax, relax, relax. Relax, relax. Oh, no. Relax, relax. Relax, relax. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck are you? Relax, relax. Who the fuck are you? Oh, dear, dear. Who the fuck are you, fucking tough guy? One so Oh, shit. Hey, Come on, you tough guy. Come on, you tough guy. Look at my father. You made a mistake. Come on. Come on. You made a mistake. I'll hurt you, you 
scumbag! Garrett's off, guys! Come on, Peter! Stop! Get the fuck out of here! Stop! Come on, you fake tough guy! Come on, you fake tough guy! Stop. Come on! Come on, come on, Peter! Come on, you want to try me? Try me! Come on, I'll put you in the hospital! Yeah, fucker! Yeah, fucker! Come out of the way! Come out of the way! Fuck this guy! Fuck this guy! Come on, you fake fucking gangster! You fucking blowjob! You're a fucking blowjob! You're so embarrassing me. Bro. Fuck this guy! Go inside. Come on, Peter, Peter, relax, relax, relax. It's so who the fuck is he? Relax. To come in my fucking place! Relax, 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 relax. Come on. Hey, my fucking you scumbag! Get it, tough guy! Get it! Right now, right now! Hey, come on, big boy. Take it easy. Come in here. Come in, come in. Come on. Come in, come in, come in. I'm sending five guys to his house right now. Jeremy and guys are on their way right now. Who the I'm fuck here. is he? Give me his mallet. When he comes in, it's the last fucker that's coming in this place. You're getting fucking hot headed. What? Did you see my father on the floor? No. So what do you mean I'm getting hot headed? I'm saying relax. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Hey, I told him to get out. Are you okay? They fight a lot. You know, these things happen. Relax, 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 relax. Let's get outside. Two seconds. Walk. Fresh air. Come on, with me. Let's go. What's going on? What happened? Don't conduct that in my no, business. No, no, no. You're right. You're That's right. first of all. Second of all, I didn't like the way he spoke to you. He's disrespectful. Relax, 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 relax. Big deep breath. Yeah. I'm here to help. The row has wasted crucial preparation time. Now Gordon urgently needs to get Peter and the staff focused on tonight's relaunch. Big, big, big night. I mean, a seriously big night, yeah? New menu, new family-style dining, new attitude. This could be the big turning point for this restaurant. Use this opportunity to show off how good we can be. Good luck. There's excitement in the restaurant about the new menu. Do the fish, it's excellent. Eight clams, a single. I like the idea of family style. But back in the kitchen, it's up to the chefs to deliver. The big tables are all ordered in family style. Now all of a sudden we're working with all this new stuff. It's like alien. May I have a, a cranberry juice, salsa and cranberry? Actually, you know what? Do you have pineapple juice? Yeah. Give me pineapple juice with a lot of ice and a splash of cranberry. It's good for my sugar. <laughs> it's one hour into dinner service, and the restaurant has not been this full for seven years. Let's set this up for 14 right now. Come on, come on, come on. Right now, they've got a 14 top just arrived, and this is a true test now, because family style should make their life a lot easier, or it can go tits up and be a disaster. It's so busy. Tina. Tina, you have a throat lozenge? Peter, as an owner, he should step up to, you know what, move his ass a little bit more because he's in la-la land. I don't know what to do. Peter, this table right here. Yeah. Bring him an appetizer or two. That's all. All right? But when Peter does decide to lend a hand... So hungry, man. Instead of serving the baked clams... You got a fork back here? Anybody got a fork? Come on, I want to see Gordon see me eating. I don't want to get yelled at. He decides to eat them. Oh, man. Oh, Peter. Man. Excuse me, Peter. I got to ask you for one favor. It's delicious. Anything. Yeah. Robert. What? What the fuck is going on here? Nothing. nothing. You're hungry, yeah? Fuck off, yeah? Go and look at your stomach in the window. Uh, Let's go. Let's... Yeah, we need another dozen day clams. One of yours went out. Another dozen? Still waiting on my baked clams. All right, I'll take care of you with that. I'll bring a small one. Guys, should I, come, should I come back next week for the baked clams? Should I go down the block for the other restaurant? I promise you, you'll have it. OK, dining room's filling up. New menu, new kitchen, new family-style dining. But Peter is my concern right now. No, honey, I'll take a cappuccino if you can make me with two equals, please. It, it was really difficult. I mean, you know, my legs hurt, my tired. It's, it was harder than the gym. It was really harder than the gym. When Gordon puts the pressure on Peter... Yeah. They waited 50 minutes for the fucking clams. Peter takes it out on his staff. What the fuck is she doing? No one came to your table yet? Nicole, are you kidding me? You didn't go to these people's table? That wasn't supposed to be my table. I don't care what it was supposed to be. Take it right now. Right now. He was yelling at me in front of my customers for things that I didn't do. 
wasn't supposed to be my table. Imagine this. It's hard for him to, you know, realize that he did something wrong, so he takes it out on everybody else. Get them one bottle on me right now for all your comedy of errors tonight. Thank you, so you cost me a bottle of wine. Just get them the bottle of wine, please. But I don't know why Peter's temper is like that. Fuck a moron. I mean, he's in everybody's way. Everybody else just brushes it off. But I guess I just take it a little personal when he's screaming at me if I'm at table, so. The fuck is going on with A7 and everything? What do you, All what's... of my tables have said stuff to me, like, oh, wow, he's being hard on you, blah, blah, blah. Hard on you? Look, you're a very hard person to talk to. How can I be a hard person to talk to? That's ridiculous. Well, if you need to talk to me, I would rather you talk, talk to me like back here. How could you cry? She was like a, a machine gun. She just started shooting all this stuff out. She looked like she was having some sort of uh, meltdown. I don't make the drinks, I don't make the food. This is ridiculous here. Hey, hold on a minute. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Relax. Just turn it down a bit. Just turn the fuck. Hey. Oh my God, I never seen something like this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. With over 200 satisfied customers, the relaunch is a success in spite of Peter. This place was a success and has now pissed through your hands. Well, it is what it, 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 it is. What it is. You've neglected it. I understand, but right now we're not in a situation money-wise to fix it. Well, fuck me, what's the time? What do you think this is? Your fucking little salon to get your massage and get fed? You're fucking walking around this place with a bowl of food in your fucking hand, eating away. That's not how I run my fucking business. I'm getting a fucking headache. I don't think you've seen a day's work for fucking 20 years. Yeah. I, I, I've had my own personal problems in the last We year. all have problems. Problem, 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 problem. You're no different. Let's start working at the problem. What's the, pro what's the what's problem? What's the problem? You. That's where I'm starting. Excuse me? He's fucking nuts, this guy. You're right, I'm fucking nuts. Because you've got fuck all to worry about right now, have you? Listen to me. I'm fucking listening. Listen to me. You sound like you're out the fucking godfather. Yeah? What the fuck is going on here? You're the only fucking here right now that's not pulling their weight, and that's not fucking good enough. I think this place will run better without you. I think this place will run better without you. I, 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 I disagree. You disagree? I'll own certain problems, and I'll take responsibility for a lot of things. That was about as convincing as a fucking what perfectly the fuck do you want to do? I'm here. I need two minutes with you on your own. You got Tonight, it. I'll see you in the morning. I love him. Tonight, go home and come back tomorrow morning and think about what are you going to put back into the business tomorrow. Think about it and make sure it's fucking good, because I'm going to be here to make sure you do it. I'm never speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm like, I'm a little hurt. What I'm seeing now is he said to me everything all these people wanted to say to me and haven't. So maybe Gordon's right. You know what? I'm not going to say maybe Gordon's right. Gordon is right. I'm committed. I'll be back, and I'll, I'll do what he says. It's for the good of the business, and in the end, this place is me. This place is me. This is me. This is what I do, so I got to make it work. To Gordon's amazement, the next morning he found Peter on the phone calling to fix the walk-in fridge. We need our walk-in box fixed. It's leaking here. It's like, oh, she has rainwater. I want you to come here and uh, do whatever it needs to have done. I'm really amazed that Peter is taking the initiative and, and putting a new walk-in box. And to go with the brand new kitchen, Robert and John have a new attitude. I'm very excited. I think everything's going so well. Uh-huh. Family style's working. Going well, yeah. yeah. And the family style dining is a huge hit with customers. This is really good. I'm myself. I haven't had family style in, uh, down here in Babylon in a long time. With word of mouth spreading, profits are soaring. At the end of the night, we made more money. We made more money this way. It's unbelievable. As soon as they calm down, I'll show you. 
To reach out to the local community, Peters hosted the first ever Babylon Family Day. Holy cow, look at this! <laughs> Everybody, enjoy the lasagna. There's lasagna. Help yourself. Food is good. Really good. <laughs> this is a huge, great start to, to push the new family theme. <laughs> Come and my family will serve yours. To make the relaunch complete, Peter decided the restaurant needed one more thing. The Father, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This was a rebirth, so it needed its blessing. Can, can I hug you, <laughs> Father, please? Okay. I, I got a thing about hugging Father. Thank you so much, all right? In the weeks ahead, Peter was more helpful. I'll get some, yeah, I'll get some extra plates, too. He made amends with Nicole. All right. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. My priorities were mixed up. Instead of trying to be like, you know, the boss, I'm going to be a team player here. And whatever needs to be done, I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to ask people if they need help with things. There you go. Enjoy. I like that shirt. Thank you. Beautiful. And even provided Tina with the help she needed. I mean, I'm thrilled. I even think Peter will do his part. I really do think he's going to keep his commitment. I'm sorry, all right? I love you. I love you too. So. Let's just confirm one thing, shall we? We've got a taste of how good this restaurant can be. Absolutely. And just comparing to what I experienced the first time I arrived here tonight, the difference was night and day. Before Gordon got here, this place was nose diving. The man reinvented my restaurant. I think now he's given us all our spark back. If you cannot make this work, you're mad. You've got a potential gold mine here that can make every one of you successfully fucking rich. We are definitely on our way to success here. Now we have to take the ball and run with it. Thank you for the commitment. Yeah? Yeah? We've been giving all the help in the world. Time for us to shine, and we got what we need. And uh, I'm ready to do it. Get on, babe. All of Gordon's ideas stemmed to keep this restaurant synonymous with family. We all love each other, so that's my main ingredient now for the restaurant. And I think that's so important. $3,000 for all that extra material. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> I really fell in love with him. My first son is going to be named after Gordon, Gordon Ramsay Pellegrino. Gordon really brought our family much closer together. Good night, buddy, yes? Thank you. If this family can stay together and commit to this restaurant, it will be successful. But stop the fucking fighting. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares USA, the mixing bowls business is dwindling. You can't get so overwhelmed. I wasn't told. The manager's desperate. I've tried everything. The owner's lost his passion. You look like a man that's dying to be put out of this misery. And his wife wants him to shut the place down. I can't sacrifice myself for the mixing bowl anymore. Gordon is the last chance for this dying venture. A true kitchen nightmare. Do not talk to me like that.